Hello everyone and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this awesome Photoshop manipulation. This is a beginner level Photoshop manipulation and if you are a complete beginner, you can also follow along. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So here I have my image opened in background. If you want to download this image and follow along, go ahead to the link in the description and you can download this image from there. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this coffee out. So let's start. I'm going to select the quick selection tool, the shortcut is W and you can increase the size and decrease the size by holding the square bracket keys on keyboard. Now let's select this, we have selection and these areas, hold on ALT and select to deselect these areas like that, okay make a selection like that now let's duplicate the background layer by dragging this to the new layer icon and, and dropping it now click on this mask button with the selection active on background copy like that now if you see, we have the copy in another separate layer so now what we have to do is bring our CT scheme so go here let's bring our CT this is our CT and the scale is down and position somewhere like that now we don't need the sky and the background C and stuff so let's remove that okay so with this selected go to the selection, selection tool again we we'll select this like the previous one, this can be also be a virtue of selection. Okay, like that. And let's click on, click on Alt and then click on the mask button. Let's mask this out. Select it. Click on B to select the brush tool. Select the brush tool. And make sure the program color is black. And just erase these extra areas that we have of course. Okay. Increase the size. You can decrease and increase the size of the brush tool as well using the square brackets. Just zoom in. So now, what you have to do is holding down Alt, click on the line between our CT layer and the background copy. Okay. This will create a clipping mask and clip our CT layer to the copy that we just cut out. With a white brush, just paint these areas in to make our city pop up it's as simple as that now for these areas which are coming out what we can do is just zoom in select the pen tool P is a short for pen tool select this edge of the glass and just circle it in or select it more start from there and just select a bigger building and just follow it along so selections make sure to make some good selections and like that I selected this side so press control and enter to select it now with the brush, press X to toggle the color. With the black brush, just yes, remove these areas. Okay. Now if you notice, we have a bit complication right there. Control T to deselect everything. With a soft brush, press X to make the color white and just fill this area. Okay. Yeah, one side is completed. Let's put the other side. Okay. Let's go to this side and if you see we have something like that. We can just reduce the opacity of this to see the corner of the glass more clearly. So with the pen tool again, do the same for this side. So here I am going to select uh, this building in the So let's select this building.
it's entirely your choice to select the building that you want I'm just selecting this for tutorial purposes Control enter to select it with the brush you can select the brush with this background copy layer with white sorry black as the foreground color do this to the side with white as the foreground color do this the brush size and paint over these areas Oh, I think I have done a bit mistake there. We need a display, right? So, press X. Just display. And I'll just press X. And twist it. But I have made a selection, something like that. So, I'll just increase the opacity all the way to 100. And we have something like that. It's looking nice. So, let's add in our clouds. We'll go here, search for our clouds and drag and drop it right there. Just increase its size somewhere around there. Position, drag and position somewhere. Okay, now what you have to do is then can can bring this to the bottom if you want. That will look something like that, that's something weird. And just pick it up the top. Okay, you don't want to click this, click on Alt and Holding down Alt, click on the line between these two layers and then you will click it. You go to key and you can transform it if you want. So we'll drag it somewhere. That's good. Okay. You can add more clouds if you want. I'm just going to keep it like that. And that's pretty much it for our tutorial. Now, uh, all you have to do is add in some color gradients. So first of all, I'm going to go to selective color, and I'm going to the blacks. And increasing the cyan's to about four, and now just decrease the magentas to minus two. The yellows can be around minus five, and just increase the blacks to add a bit of contrast. I'm just going to set this to three. Let's go to the neutrals and. And a bit of science there as well. Bit of magenta, tint of magenta will help. Over three. Just adding some yellows. Seven. And I'm just decreasing the contrast a bit. I said this is my step. Okay. Let's go to our science and just decrease the science all the way. Over midway. I'm going to set this to minus 40. Just increasing the mutton pass at the full help. Also, the yellows have contrast with the black. Now, let's add in a gradient map. So, I'm gonna set the blending mode to soft light. Select the gradient map. This is photographic drawing. If you don't find it, click on the gear icon. You select photograph drawing and click on OK. Okay, now I'm gonna select this one. Like Fine. Now I'm going to select this or set your highlights. Click OK. Let's set this opacity to around 50%. That's okay, fine. Now add a new layer. It was Ctrl Shift Alt and then E together. Ctrl Shift Alt E will make a new merge layer on top of all the layers. Go to Filter, Camera Filter. Now let's adjust the colors and Okay, we can just edit and just find this exposure a bit, decreasing the contrast, adding a bit of shadows, decreasing the blacks and new bit, and adding a bit of clarity, then texture as well. Yeah, our texture. P face. Okay. Now let's go to the chisel adjustments. Let's go to the hue. I'm gonna set this. Green to orange ish. Okay, let's see how to do this. This is nice. Okay. That will just create an orange ish and teal look. And that will really help us with the other effect. We'll just slide this on this. We'll see the color of the hands. It's orange ish. Yes. 
favorite spider or something, but something that you really like. Okay. That's only what you have to do right there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just go away from this one. Okay, well, let's clean off. That's pretty much it. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and select the video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and comment on what you think about the video and also if you have any new suggestions or any tutorial ideas, just make sure to comment this on the comment box and I will be making sure and I will surely make a tutorial on that. And thank you all for supporting and make sure to stay safe and thank you.